How long ago do your three England caps feel? Uh, yeah, quite a while ago now. I think, um, yeah, I've uh, very much a distant memory, but obviously a fun one. Um, and I guess with that in mind, it makes you just slightly hungrier to try and get add to that, I guess. Have you had any kind of break since the European final? Have you been able to put your feet up and, and enjoy what you've done for the last few months? Not really, no. So obviously we had the final on the Friday night, um, flew back on Saturday morning, uh, spent a day with the squad on Saturday morning. Um, Sunday was very much a recovery day. And then we were kind of waiting to see what was going on with um, with the final. We were obviously planning on joining up into the bubble on Sunday night, Monday morning, um, but we're told to hold fire or basically all the way through to Wednesday. Um, and then once we heard the news Wednesday morning, um, us three shot, shot up the M4 and, and, and in we came, I guess, by lunchtime and, and we've been in ever since. What about your own form coming into this England camp? You've got to be delighted with it. Not the way that you would have want to have left, Sarri. Obviously, you've spoken about that. But when you do leave, then you have to go and make it work for you. And your form for Bristol has got to have been almost beyond your wildest dreams, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, certain aspects of my game I've been very happy with. And, and I'm very happy with how I've settled in into the squad. Um, everyone's been amazing and welcomed me in. And, and, and the coaches and staff and players have have been fantastic in helping me. Um, again, it's always nice to win something in, in that season. And, and obviously, we were lucky to do that in the last game of the year. But um, I still think there's massive inconsistencies in my game. And, and it's something that I'll be working to improve on come next year. You're obviously involved in one of the the most competitive areas in English rugby at the moment in the back row. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a quite an achievement to just get into the squad to start with, isn't it? Uh, yeah, obviously, it's a great honour whenever you're involved with England and, and it's a, a, a kind of responsibility when you get into camp and, and you've got to make sure that you don't get left behind in that regard. Um, again, yeah, like you say, it's massively competitive. There's some amazing players here with all the diff very different skill sets um, and we're all learning, hopefully, from each other every day. Um, I know certainly I am. So, um, look, we're loving every part of it and, and just looking forward to getting into the games now. And just looking at bat rows, the Italian bat row, always a handful. This one seems to have a good balance about it. Negri, Stain, and of course, Jake Paledri, who you know all about from the Premiership. Yeah, they're, they're very um, confrontational, um, experienced internationally now, um, having played together for uh, at least two years, I think. So, yeah, look, obviously we know Jake very well and played against him a few times. Um, and obviously the other two are a bit of an unknown entity, but very good players and... and um, that we're doing some work on, on how we um, counteract their threats and, and make sure they see ours. Just finally from me, I mean, at what point do you guys start talking about bonus points? We don't know which way France, Ireland's going to go, but you'd be surprised if there was a try bonus point in that match. So therefore, five points for England's open things up. Do, do you talk about that in the, the build-up to a game like this or do you just let things take their own course? I think very much the latter. Um, we have spoken about the magnitude of the game. Um, there's no shortage of motivation. Um, it's a game that can win us the Six Nations and it's very rare that you win a Six Nations in your career. So um, look, it's a huge opportunity for us. Um, the bonus point will take care of itself if we play well, uh, perform well and, and prepare ourselves mentally. So that's kind of the way we're looking at it. Um, we know all the onus is on us in terms of this week, getting ourselves prepared. Um, to put our best foot forward on Saturday against Italy.